Hey, hey, people. This is Jacob here at Sutherland Chevrolet in Nicholasville, Kentucky. And I'm here today to show you our 2021 Ford F-150 Platinum. I'm gonna walk around the outside here, point out anything I see, walk around the inside. Well, not walk around, but show you the inside as well. Um, so, the main thing I'm looking here for on the outside though, is any little dent, sting, scratches, anything like that. It does need another bath, but uh, so far I'm not seeing anything. You got a little bird poop up there in the corner, you know. Um, I'm noticing now, and I'm gonna try and get my big body out of the way so maybe you can see it. There's a little tiny scratch right there. A couple little scratches down here. Um, looks like, yep, that's a little like rock chip there. It doesn't look like it's quite all the way through the paint. Um, little tiny one right there. This is stuff that's, you know, gonna happen. It's inevitable. That's just bird poop. That'll come off. Um, down here, you got a little tiny, sorry, there, there you go. <laughs> little tiny, you know, something probably tapped the door or something. Um, stuff's gonna happen, you know, it's a used vehicle. But at the same time, I want you to know exactly, you know, what you're looking at here. So, another little scratch right there. All in all, it's in very good shape. Something you're gonna just have to get over with these things. It's got a painted front bumper, right? It's not a uh, chrome bumper, so you're gonna get little rock chips, you know? It's gonna be on the interstate. You're gonna get these little guys, little rock chips, and a lot of this will clean up, but you've got little tiny rock chips, and it's just gonna happen on these painted bumpers, you know? And it's one of those things where when you're far away, you're gonna forget about it. You're not even gonna notice it, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be worried about driving the truck. But you get real close, and you get right up on it, and you're gonna see little rock chips, like, you know and like same thing here with the hood you know the hood's angled some people get like a bug guard to try and protect this or they'll get like a car bra to try and protect this so those are options but you'll just notice little tiny crutches so it's got a few the rest of the hood looks really good though just needs another bath let's look over at this panel this one's going to be kind of hard to look at because the way I've got the car parked and where the sun's hot in the sky, but it looks really good. Both the mirrors look good. I mean, something I forgot to even show you was the wheels on that side, so we'll go back over there. Let's go back over there. The wheel over here looks good, just needs another bath. The wheel over here looks good, just needs another bath. Let's go back around to the other side. Continue where we left off here. So, yeah, this door looks fantastic. She's got a little bird on it. That happens here, man. They target our lot like you would not believe. This door looks really good. You got a little spot right here where I'm sure it need another door hit it or something. Again, it's not cracked or anything, but it's just like a little little spot of clear coat and paint. But, no, you step away from the door, you'll forget, you'll forget about it. <laughs> Um, you can see here, this all looks really good, except right down here, there's a little bit of scratching and stuff, so I'm going to get a little closer so that way you can see it. Again, this happened, some bush probably rubbed up against it or something like that, a couple of tree branches, something, and uh, you got a couple of little scratches there. But other than that, looks good. Everything on the tailgate looks good. This needs another bath. You've got, uh, yeah, looks good. Yeah, everything on the bumper looks good except for, actually, I take it back. I just noticed a spot on the tailgate and maybe the camera was picking it up and I was just blind. You do have some scratching right here where some paint's been taken off. So someone's probably dropped that tailgate on top of something at some point right under here. Something's sitting there, dropped the tailgate, scratched that up. So you've also got on the bumper here, you had a couple little pieces of a bush or something. That's gone. But you've also got, nope, there's some more in there. We'll get that out. And then you've got right here, okay, something where that bumper is rubbed up against something at some point. So it's not perfect, but it's very close. Let's see, what's this right here? That's just part of a plant or something. 
no big deal. This is the inside of the tailgate, okay? This is your bed. It's all sprayed and everything. Looks like they may have, see they got those hoses in here. They may have had some kind of tonneau cover on this at some point in time that they took off maybe. Um, so, now let's see if I can show you the tailgate here. I may be too stupid, so I may have to come back to this. But, to my understanding, yeah, it's got the step here. So it's got this step that comes down, okay? And then you've got, I don't even know how to do this. You've got this, there we go. So you step on the step. That allows you to get up in the truck bed. You can use this handle to, you know, keep yourself uh, secured. Sorry, there we go. Now it's locked in place, so it's not going anywhere when you're trying to get up in it. But, uh, so, very nice feature, you know. As much as I like to pretend that I'm a... I don't even know how to get this back down. Okay, we'll come back to that. <laughs> and, of course, the inside's what you imagine. It's perfect, okay? It does have heated, cooled seats. does have massage seats. has the big sunroof, which I love, okay? I'm bald and I'm six foot four. I'm a big guy. I get claustrophobic in these things, okay? doesn't help that I like to eat. You know, I'm a big guy. So, uh, but the interior is fantastic. It's perfect. Uh, you won't have any problems there. You've got the, I don't even know if it's banging and Olufsen or Powers and something. I don't know. you got a fancy sound system here, okay? You've even got speakers up here in the, in the headliner, which is crazy, okay? Craziest thing I've ever seen. you got all the buttons in the world here. So you've got locks and unlocks, which is normal. You know, your window adjustments, which are normal. Your mirror adjustments, power window adjustments, that's a normal thing, right? You've also got memory seats up here, okay? Speaker on the door, compartments down here to put stuff in. Over here, okay, you got a bunch of buttons, okay? So you got more buttons in here than that was in my old 1986 Chevy Celebrity, just right here, okay? So you've got, you've got, I'm gonna turn the air down a little bit, it's a little loud. It's rolling to keep it cool. So, I'm gonna turn the radio down too. There we go. So, okay, you've got uh, lights on the outsides of your mirrors that you can turn on and off. You've got this mode where it uses the car as a generator. It'll keep it running to supply powers to the outlets on the car. Now, uh, this button will raise and lower that tailgate, which I'm not going to do right now because I need to get that step put back up. Um, you've got, you know, lighting in your bed. you got all your lighting controls here for the outside of the vehicle as well as the inside. So if you want to change the interior lighting, you can do that here as well if you want to brighten it or darken it. Now that right now isn't going to do anything because there's a sensor up on the dash that's picking up the ambient light outside the vehicle. So I won't be able to make adjustments, but I promise at night it actually works. Uh, down here you've got adjustment. I don't even know if you can see that, but I hope you can because yeah, I can barely see it. <laughs> They've uh, you got adjustments for your uh, your pedals. So if you want to move them closer to your body, further away from your body, those are options. So now they really make these to make them comfortable for anybody. You know, uh, up here on the steering wheel, you got a ton of buttons too: volume up and down, answering phone calls, bringing up the voice assistant on your phone. It's that button right there. Of course, your cruise controls. These four buttons right here. You got your forward collision alert, which you can change that distance uh, here. Sorry, I'm gonna get that tailgate to go off. You change the distance for that there, as well as the distance for your, um, what do they call it? Uh, it's not automatic cruise control, adaptive cruise control. So where the vehicle will slow down as the vehicle in front of you slows down. Um, so it's got the fancy cruise control on it. That's very nice. You got your lane change alert with lane keep assist right there. Um, another advanced safety feature. And then over here on your right, you've got buttons for... Uh, answering and hanging up on phone calls right there as well, but also your display here, you can adjust you know, the information um, on your digital uh, gauge cluster. So you can have it show navigation information. You can have it show more traditional information as far as like mileage and trip information, you know, fuel economy, things like that. Um, so very, very nice. Very, very nice and clean display. I really like how they've done this. It's very simplistic and easy to read. Some of them are not that easy to read. Um, over here, of course, you got your push to start button behind the steering wheel. Other things I missed. Oh, I didn't miss anything. Everything's good there. Uh, but your push to start button's right there. You've got uh, your trailering mode right here. Um, so, um, and then you've also got your uh, trailer brake controller right here. So you've got that integrated. You don't have to have something down here banging against your knee. If you decide to trailer something, and then down here you've got your four-wheel drive selector. So you got two high, four high, four automatic, and four low. And then you also got your driving mode selector here. So as you see, as I make adjustments, 
turn on that wheel, it'll change the driving mode. So, yeah, deep snow and sand, mud and ruts. I think that pretty much covers them. So, yeah, we go back the other way and we've got the tow haul mode, the economy mode, what looks to be a sport mode. Yeah, awesome. Cool stuff, cool stuff. I like the little animation there for that. That's nice. Uh, your heated and cold seats are right down here. Heated steering wheels right here. Your HVAC controls. Of course, you got dual climate um, control zones here. So the driver and passenger can have their own control zones, which is very nice. Um, then you've got your volume controls here, different like audio and tone settings, changing sources, that kind of thing. Pop. Uh, pause and play, going cycling through the stations. If you want to turn the display off, you have a button there for that. It uh, really doesn't turn it off. It seems to more or less take you to a home screen. Let's see if holding it does anything. There we go. The holding it will turn it off there. So I'm going to press it again, and that will bring us to uh, back to the... Uh, the radio so you got audio of course that's am fm xm everything there phone you know we can connect a phone you can see where the lady that takes our pictures has her had added her phone on here just to show people online you got your navigation built -in navigation is very nice to have some people don't use it because they've got their phones but i really really like having it um, you got your applications you can set favorites for certain things on you know, the vehicle uh, that you you know you, you use a lot uh, of course, your settings, that's pretty self-explanatory stuff. If you go into settings here and go to seats, that'll bring up the massaging seats. So that's how you get to that. It's all digital. Um, so I can change that. You've got a bunch of different options here, and it kind of shows you what it's doing. This one feels really weird, as you can imagine it would from that uh, animation there. Sorry, you're probably seeing the reflection and you're seeing me. So that's not good, but uh, yeah. So it's pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Um, so the other thing is you can it's got this features button and you can go over here and you've got like the owner's manual you can look at it in the vehicle which is a very nice feature um, that that pro power on board is that being able to use the truck as a generator which is awesome uh, the running boards here um, so you can change the way because they're power of course in and out you can adjust how those work um, so very very nice um, and then this is just kind of allowing me to cycle for the information shown on the other part of the display. But the display is huge. I don't know if you can tell how big that is. It is absolutely massive. Um, so over here, okay, I don't even know. Oh, that button is just a release for the, the glove compartment there. I was about to say I'm not even 100% sure what that does. Then you've got your, your lower glove box there, okay. Down here you've got your shifter, okay, which is a little bit different. They've got it to where it will fold in into the... Uh, console here to you know make it flat so if you you know if you're parked and you want to put something up here or something like that you're working on something trying to write something you know you could do that down here it also gives it a very nice clean look you know but press the button shifter comes back and now i can you know put the vehicle in drive or whatever i want to do you know so very nice um back here okay you've got a huge compartment here a huge center console a bunch of space there you got some outlets down there for charging phones something i missed okay you've got your cup holders you got a little pocket here which is nice i like to set cell phones or wallets in there i got a real thin wallet so that works but you know you could put pins in there things like that you've also got a little pocket here and then up here you got a little hidden area okay where you've got a wireless cell phone charger there and then you've got a usb type c and a usb type a port so it seems like between here and there you know you've got four ports just there two type A and two type C, and I'm sure you've got some in the back as well. Um, I'm gonna close this compartment. Then I go to the back of the vehicle here. So you got, of course, speaker on the door. I'm gonna get up in here. So you got a bunch of space back here as well. Uh, heated seats in the rear. You got a circular outlet there, and then you've got even more stuff down here. So let's open these up and see what we're looking at. So they open up to the right, that one opens it up to the left. And then you've got, uh, yeah, uh, looks to be, is that 120 volt? Yeah, 120 volt outlet there. And then uh, some USB ports down there as well. So you should be able to charge every device in the world on this thing, okay? 
so all right but that kind of shows you the back the leather looks really nice i like the little brown accenting on it it's more of a suede finish which is very nice so this video is running kind of long but i wanted to show you everything i could on it I'm going to figure out how to close this tailgate now. But again, this is Jacob over at Sutherland Chevrolet in Nicholasville, Kentucky. Uh, this is our Ford F-150 Platinum 2021 model. And uh, thank you and have a wonderful day. Please call me and I'll talk to you soon.